Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Grill. In this video, I'll show you how to create smart WordPress forms using conditional logic. So with conditional logic, you can set conditions on your WordPress forms and you can do things depending on user input, like you can choose to show or hide fields depending on what the user has inputted within your form. You can even choose which email notification to send out to your users depending on their input. And lastly, you can choose to redirect users to different pages depending on what they've inputted within the form. So three ways to make your WordPress form smarter. I'll leave all the helpful links down in the description below. Make sure you check it out. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get started with the video. But before we do, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. All right, so here we are within a computer screen. I've fired up a local instance. And before we get started, first of all, we're going to have to install a forms plugin. So for that, you're gonna have to install this plugin right here called Everest Forms. Now it is a free plugin, but for features, like I said, conditional logic, you're gonna have to get their premium version, right? So you can get any one of their premium plans right here. Personal will do you just fine. If you just buy it, it's going to be a standard checkout process. And currently when you're watching this video, maybe the Christmas sale or the New Year's sale is going on. So make sure you grab it while you can. Now it is going to be a standard checkout process after which you'll get an email with login credentials. And once you log into this site right here, you can basically download this Everest Forms Pro zip file. And while that is downloading, you can go here within the license keys tab and you can also copy your license key from right here. So once that is done, let's go back within WordPress. And now from in here, let's go within plugins, add new plugin, upload your zip file right here. So I'm going to select the zip file that I just downloaded, open and click on install. Okay, so once it has been installed, click on activate. So there you go, the pro version of the plugin has been installed, but it's also going to require the free version. So you can simply click here to download the free version as well and activate that plugin too. So there you go, as soon as both the plugins have been activated, you'll be greeted to this screen. Now, once that is done, you can click here on please enter your license key and the license key that you just copied from your WP Everest dashboard, you're gonna have to paste it right here. So paste it and click on activate license. Now, once your license key has been activated, you're ready to create new forms. Now creating forms within this plugin, it's super easy. Let me go here within all forms menu. And this right here is a contact form that Everest Forms gives you by default. So I'm gonna click on edit here. And you can see this is our very, very basic contact form. Now, if I want to add new fields in here, then I can do that as well. I can simply drag a phone field. And you know, if I wanna make this field required or something, I can do that from right here. I've got my field options. Maybe I want to change it to mobile number or something. So I can do that as well. A lot of customization options, it's pretty simple. And once the form is ready, you can use the short code right here, or you can use the Gutenberg block. And also you can create unlimited forms. So if I click here on add new, I can create a form from scratch or they've got a lot of form templates that you can choose from. You've got simple contact form. Basically, you've got forms for any occasion. So for this video, I'm going to get started with this very simple support form right here. I'm just going to name it as support form continue. So as you can see, this right here is our form. Let me save this form first. And now if I want to display this form to any page, then I'll simply go here within my pages menu, edit the page I want to display this form into. And as I said before, I could either use the short code or what I can do is I can go right here and I can drag and drop this Everest forms block and select the form that I want to display. There it is. This is our form right here. Save it. Let me show you what the form looks like. So this right here is our form. I can fill it out submit the form and once the form has been submitted i can go with an Everest forms entries and my entries will be shown right here pretty simple basic forms plugin so yeah now let's jump into conditional logic but before we do that if you want to know more about the Everest forms plugin i'll leave some helpful links down below in the description so you can learn more about the plugin see what this plugin is capable of it's capable of a lot of different things trust me it's got a lot of different add-ons but yeah, that's besides the point Okay, so starting up, I'll show you how to show our hide fields based on user input. And I'm going to do it within the same support form that I've created. I'm simply going to edit this form from within my Everest Forms All Forms menu. And here I am within our form builder. So the plan I have here for this support form is that I want to add a field, a multiple choice field, where I want to ask users if they want to get a call instead. So here I have dragged in a multiple choice field and I'm going to rename its label as want us to give you a call question mark now the first choice is going to be yes the second choice is going to be no and we don't need a third choice so i'm simply going to remove it so yeah here we have a multiple choice field want us to give you a call yes or no so now i want to set a condition within this form field where whenever a user selects the yes choice then a phone field will appear where they can basically fill out their phone number and we can give them a call and if they select no then the phone field will stay hidden so yeah, that is the plan here so yeah once we have our multiple choice field in here we also need to drag in a phone field so if i scroll down below here then we have a dedicated phone field within this 
plugin. So I'm simply going to drag and drop it within my form. I'm going to click on this field and my field options will be shown. Now this is a standard phone field where users can basically enter their phone number in whichever country code format, all that good stuff. For this phone field, we want it to stay hidden by default and we only want it to be shown whenever a user clicks on this yes choice. So for that, within your field options for the phone field, go underneath conditional logic, enable it, and what you can do is here you can set a conditional rule. So we want this field to be shown only if this field, which is want us to give you a call, is selected to yes. So we're going to do the same thing. So we want this field to be shown only if the following matches, and that is want us to give you a call field is selected to yes. So here we've set our conditional rule. Let me save this and let me show you what it's going to look like. So here is our support form and currently the phone field is not being shown. So if I click on yes, then you can see that the phone field is being shown and a user can select whichever country they are in and they can paste in their number in whatever format they wish to. So yeah, and if they select no, then this field will not be shown. So yeah, not that big of a deal. Now, when you're giving conditions within this form right here, you can add multiple different conditions. So first of all, what you can do is you can add conditional rules, not just to show the field, but to also hide the field. So you can play around with it however you want to. You can also set conditions for a field, whether or not something is filled out a certain way, whether or not something is not filled out a certain way. If a field is empty, do you want something to be shown or hidden? If it's not empty, what do you do? And if you're playing with values, so suppose I have a field in here where I ask people what their age is, is, and if the value is greater than 18, then I can choose to show them a form. And if the value is less than 18, then I can show or hide a field. So yeah, I can do anything with conditional logic and I can enable conditional logic on any field, like you know this message field right here. I've got this another category field or I think it's called a checkbox field, my bad. So you can do this with any field you want to within the form. Currently, we've done it for our phone field. Now you can also add multiple conditions within a field for it to be shown. Like I can add an and condition or an or condition. Now, if you know how or or an and condition work, then it's basically, first of all, let me remove this and condition here. So if you have two or conditions here, any one of these conditions could be true for the field to be shown or hidden. And if you have two and conditions here instead of the or condition, then both both these conditions need to be true for the field to be shown or hidden. If you want to know more about how to use AND and the OR conditions, I'll leave some links down below. You can explore the Everest Forms documentation for that. But yeah, right now for this form, this condition serves us just fine. Let me save this and let me preview you the form once again. Now you can also do another thing here, not just fields, but the submit button. If you only want the submit button to be shown when everything here is filled out, then you've got an option for that as well. So here from within our form builder, if we go within settings, within our general settings for this support form right here, we have a submit button setting. If you want to enable conditional logic for your submit button, then you can do that as well. So the submit button will only be shown if suppose the subject is not empty. So let me go ahead and let me save this and let me preview you the form. So right now you can see that our submit button is not being shown, but as soon as I fill something out for the subject, our submit button will be shown. Now, as I said before, I'll give you a demo of the OR and the AND conditions. So suppose I have a condition here, that is the submit button will only be shown if the subject field is not empty, right? Now, if I add an AND condition here, subject and the message field is not empty. Let me save this form first and let me show you what this means. So currently we have set a condition where the submit button will only be shown if both the subject field and the message field are filled out then and only then the submit button will be shown. This is an example of the AND condition. So now suppose if I were to remove this AND condition and I were to add an OR condition in here and select the message field and make it so that the submit button is only shown if the message field is not empty, let me show you what's gonna happen now. So now if I were to fill out either one of them, it could be the subject field or the message field, the submit button will be shown. So this is an example of the OR condition. So the easiest distinction for OR and AND condition is that when you have multiple different conditions with an OR condition, one of them could be true. So now you've learned how to conditionally show or hide fields within your form and also how to show or hide the submit button depending on the conditions you've set for the form. So now let's jump into the second way of making your forms smaller.
Okay, so now let's learn how to conditionally send out email notifications for whenever a user fills out your form. So here within Everest forms, if I edit this support form once again, I can go within settings and within our email setting here, we have email notifications. So basically I can send out email notifications for whenever anyone fills out the form. Like this one right here, by default, we have an admin notification, which is sent to the admin of the website. Whenever someone fills out the form, this email notification will be sent to them. Basically with the email subject, new form, form entry and this smart tag right here which says all fields which basically renders all the fields that the user has filled out whatever they have filled out within the form it will be rendered now let me show you a preview of what it's going to look like right here so this is what it's going to look like basically for them they'll have an email subject here right which is going to say new form entry and we'll have all the information of whatever the user fills out within the form so this right here is the admin email notification what we can do is we can create multiple different notifications here so suppose I want to add a new email notification here called support notification or support user notification or do I name it support query notification I'm just gonna write it notif okay within our form right here if I go back within our fields menu so here since this is a support form a user could either reach out to the support team or the sales team now I can make it so depending on whichever team the user that's filling out the form wants to speak to I can send them a different email notification depending on their input into this field so to do that here I have one admin notification that is sent to the admin, another support query notification. So this email notification, I want this to be sent to the user who wants to speak to the support team. So now for this email notification for the support query, I want this email to be sent to whoever is filling out the form. So here within our to address, I'm going to select this field mapping menu right here, and I'm going to select this email field. So since within our form, we have this email field, right? We can map that field in here. So whatever email is filled within this email field, this notification will be sent to that user. Now the from name, it, this is basically going to be the site name. If you want to change it, you can. The from address, it's going to be admin email by default. If you want to change this to something like info at the rate, your domain.com or something like that, you're free to. Here we have a reply to. If a user replies to this email, which address do you want that reply to go to? I'm going to leave it as it is for now. Now here for the email site, Subject, I can give it an email subject. Your support ticket has been created. Your support ticket has been created. This is going to be the email subject. And here, what I can do is I can paste in a random content that I have, which basically says, thank you for contacting the support team we'll get back to you soon helpful pointers for support we've got different helpful links that are relevant to anyone that is reaching out for support here and here we have this all fields smart tag so what I can do here is in the meantime please also review the information you filled out into the form so let me save this here and now what I can do here is I can enable conditional logic so since this email notification right here, I want it to be sent whenever the user selects this quick support team option right here within our form. So I can go back here and I can select a field. Okay, my bad. First of all, I'll have to select whether to send or to not send this email. So we're just gonna click on send this email only if the get in touch with is quick support team. And I can save this. Okay, so let me show you how this would work. Suppose I'm a user, I'm just normally filling out the form. I come in here and I select quick support team and I submit the form. There you go, our form has been submitted. And if I open my mail pit right here, you can see we have an email that says your support ticket has been created. Thank you for contacting the support team. We're basically a user who has gotten this email, right? But now suppose I again fill out the support form, but this time, I select the sales team. So currently we have not set an email notification for anyone that is trying to get in touch with the sales team. We shouldn't be getting an email, right? So I'm going to select no here. I'm going to submit this form. The form has been submitted. And if I go back, you can see here that we've not received any new email. This right here is the admin email, but besides that, to the user, no email has been sent. So you can basically create another notification here for sales notif, okay and you can again map this field to whichever email the user fills out within the form and here you can say thanks for contacting sales and you can fill out the email message so once that is done you can enable conditional logic here and you can only choose to send out this email if the get in touch with field is selected to sales team
save this. So now if I go back here, and if I try to fill in this support form once again, and this time I've selected sales team, submit, then now I should get a new email that says, thanks for contacting sales. And this is how you can conditionally send out different email notifications depending on the user input. And don't forget, you can create as many notifications as you want to here. And also there's many other things you can do with an email notifications. So that's about it for conditionally sending out email notifications. Okay, so the third way of making your forms smarter using conditional logic is to conditionally redirect users to different pages depending on their input. So let's go here back within all forms. I'm going to again use the same support form that I've created. If I go here within settings, within confirmations, then here we've got a submission redirection setting. So within Everest forms, as soon as a user has filled out the form, you can redirect them to a different page. So suppose as soon as someone has filled out the form, I want them to be redirected to the home page. Then I would go right here and I would choose custom page and I would select the home page, suppose, right? I save this. So currently, since we've selected our redirection to the home page, when a user fills out this form, they need to be sent to the home page, right? So this right here is simple redirection, which does not take into account what the user has submitted within the form. But now let's go ahead back within our support form settings within confirmations, we can enable conditional logic for this as well. So I'm going to change the global redirection or the normal redirection back to same page so that you know, this does not affect anything. And here within conditional logic, what I can do is I can set a condition here. So suppose I want to redirect users to a different page, which is going to be suppose the sales redirect page, if the field get in touch with is selected to the sales team. So this condition right here basically says users will be redirected to the sales redirect page, which I've created within my WordPress website, only if the get in touch with field is selected to the sales team, right? So this is our first condition here. So let me show you how this would function. So back here within my support form, I filled it out and I've selected sales team here. So currently, if I submit this form, this should take me to sales redirect page, right? So there you go. It has redirected me to the sales redirect page where I have helpful pointers for anyone that is reaching out to the sales team you know you've got different documentation links here although they don't quite look like links but this is just for demonstration i'm sure you get the gist so suppose if i were to go back in here once again fill out the form and i select a quick support team then this should not send me anywhere right there you go i stay right here now let's go ahead and let's set another conditional rule here this time what we'll have to do is we'll have to add another conditional logic and choose to redirect users to a custom page which is going to be the support redirect page if the form field get in touch with is selected to the quick support team. Let me save this. All right, let me show you what that will look like once again. Our form right here, I fill it out. And if I select support team and I submit the form, then there you go. It takes me to the support redirection page. And if I were to go back once again, fill out the form, sales team has been selected, submit, then it takes me back to the sales redirect page or not back to, but it basically redirects me to the sales redirect page that I've created. So there you go. Pretty simple conditional logic. This is how you can conditionally redirect users to different pages depending on their input. And these are all the three different ways with which you can make your WordPress forms smarter. So I hope you found that video helpful. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'm Sid. I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.